the early 80s saw some bizarre fashions come and go. Let's not forget that once upon a time, pixie boots were acceptable for men and the mullet haircut was not a criminal offence. It's no surprise then that one of the biggest pinups of 84 was Michael Prade, who, as Robin of Sherwood, managed to add a medieval twist to contemporary fashions. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Robin of Sherwood. Let's give up a boy. Let's give up a boy a hand. Yeah. Michael Praed, dark and handsome. My mother loved Michael Praed. Michael's an extraordinary looking human being. I mean, he's one of the, the few men I've actually been with where he walks into a room and women just go. It was like five o'clock ITV, you get a comfy wee cup of tea and he'd be there with his hair on the right on the back of the half. And Michael became a, a huge hit with the teenage girls. And he had this rather fey quality, you know, which uh, I also wanted from the Robin Hood because he was in touch with the spirits and all that. He was a perfect 80s hero, Michael Fraid. Long hair, pale lip gloss. Beautiful hair, very, very straight, centre parting, down, down here, then very long at the back. His hair, now that was interesting, wasn't That's it? That's serious crop. It was, there was a sort of nut crushingly tight leather. Centre parting, and it was obviously very overwashed and conditioned because it had no life. I imagine Robin of Sherwood must have had a huge gay following. I'm not a serf. I'm a free man. I say you're a serf, you're a serf! Yeah, whatever happened to Michael Prade? He sold his soul to um, Dynasty, didn't he? And I think he was sort of Prince Molotov of Cocktail or somewhere, something silly like that. And he told me later that, you know, you got no direction at all. You had your tie straightened and your hair combed, but you had no direction. He said, I didn't know what I was doing, really. And he said, I felt a bit like a tailor's dummy uh, in Dynasty. And he, he sort of hated it, quite frankly. <laughs> well, after Michael left the show, we were faced with the problem of replacing him because the show was still very hot. Then he got took over by Sean Connery's son, Jason. Jason Connery. Oh, tiger. Blonde. Um, looks a bit like David McCallum, a young David McCallum, but again, very attractive. Who can I save them? And my father. Home will guide us. He came down, before we finished the end of the series with Michael, he came down and he just hung out with us. And we pulled all kinds of jokes on him and we ribbed him mercilessly. And he took it and he became part of the group. In America, there's still a, there's a Robin of Sherwood fan club as there is in, in the UK, but there's, there's kind of these divisions, whether you're a Michael fan or a Jason fan, or, you know, did the show change? And it did change a little bit when Jason came along. I mean, all shows evolve, all shows change. Action! They started very early in the year, and it was absolutely freezing, getting up at sort of four in the morning to start shooting. And standing around on it, you know, in the in the woods in freezing, freezing conditions. Stand back, stand this way. This way. In one of the scenes we had to walk up a, a river and we were stood in this river and there was literally we were stood in the ice. There was ice literally flowing past our feet. If you would lived in a forest, you'd be covered in shit all the time. It must be really dirty living in a forest. She's all stink. <laughs> <laughs> but he looked lovely all the time, didn't he? He looked like he had you know, silver crin rinse and his Lincoln green. Look at the arrow, my liege. They weren't living in the time. It, it, that, 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 that was... Uh... No, I never watched it. Did you guess? <laughs> Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Somebody whack the camera, sorry. Men looking after each other, looking out for the poor, you know, steal from the rich, give to the poor. It was just, I loved it for that reason, I suppose. I think it just shows the strength of the original legend, actually. 
that it's deep in everybody's psyche, the idea of being a rebel and sort of running around in the woods and keeping away from parking meters. No. <laughs> Robin Hood probably wasn't a real person. Robin of Loxley. Loxley doesn't exist. Which means that he might as well be a long-haired camp actor in leggings as anything else.